Monkey Bros. Welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files from a Windows machine to a Linux machine or to a Linux machine to a Windows machine. Okay, so as you can see, we're in my desktop computer. This computer is a Windows 10, is the one I use for most of my videos, and the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do and what I type. Well, that's kind of what I do. <laughs> now, the first thing, like I said, this is a Windows 10 machine and I'm using VirtualBox. Uh, this is a free software to, that I use to create the virtual machines. So in this case, I'm running Ubuntu here. So by the way, if you want to know how to install and configure VirtualBox and install and configure Ubuntu or Kali Linux, you, I have done some videos in the past. You can access those videos in the top right of this screen. Now, I have the, this instance, this virtual machine Ubuntu running. I'm going to show, show it to you right now. You can see it right there. So what we are going to do is transfer files between these ones. I'm going to use only TXT files because that's the easiest way to do it, but you can transfer any other file. Before doing that, I just want to warn you that uh, if you are in a working environment, it's going to depend what access level you have. For example, everything might be working, but you don't have access to the uh, um, Linux machine. If you don't have access, there is nothing you can do until you get access. And even if you have access to the to log to SSH or to to this Linux machine, you might not have the the rights to change files, to copy files, to run files. Okay, so just keep that in mind because that's very important. So now. Uh, I'm going to, the next step is to install the software and the software is a free one and it's called, uh, well, this is not the one, this is the right website. <laughs> I was one step ahead. WinSCP, this is the link. As always, any link that I show you is going to be in the video description below. So you just have to click on it. So now this is a WinSCP free awarding winning software, okay, F file manager. So you just, as you can imagine, click it here and it takes, uh, takes us to this screen. So as of today, uh, this is around, the version is 5.17, and it's uh, around 11 megabytes. So that's not very big. So you just have to click here and download it. As you can imagine, I already have it. You can see it here. And it's also here in my desktop. So I'm just going to double click on it like any other software. Let me, let me bring the window to this monitor. Install for all users, yes, or for only me. Doesn't make really a difference. I'm going to choose the first one. I'm going to click yes. And let me bring this to this monitor as well. License, license agreement. I'm just going to, uh, to click accept. Typical installation, yes. Uh, user inter interface style, you want like different windows or just one big window. I prefer the, the first one, commander, uh, a big window. So install. And while you're doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So it's asking me something here. You have stored sessions in PADI SSH client. Do you want to import them to WinSCP? No, that's okay. So completing uh, launch SCP, I don't need this one. If you have the chance to donate to WinSCP, for all means, do it. It's also good to support... Um, content. So I'm going to click on finish. It's going to take a few seconds to open the software. So this is how it looks. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to make it a little smaller because this is taking the entire screen. So this is this looks better. So because of the resolution on my, on my screen. So this is how it looks. This part over here is Windows. By default, by default, always is going to go to users. Alvin Drilling, this is the, <laughs> the account name I'm logging to, and documents. So, but I'm not going to use documents. As you can see, you ha I have many folders here. I'm going to just to choose another, in this case, Python. I'm going to use just one, and I'm going to, do, and I'm going to delete these files over here. This one and this one. I'm going to delete them. So we have only one, we have only that file. So I'm going to close it for you to see it and we are going to open it again, okay? But I'm just showing you that this is my Windows machine. I'm going to close it and I'm going to type over here WinSCP and it's here. So I'm going to open it again, and as you can see, it remembers the last folder in this, which is, which in my case is documents, 
Python. You can use any partition, any folder that you may like. So from here, uh, we cannot move this when everything is like one window. We have to type the host name or IP address. So let's go back to the Ubuntu machine. We open a terminal and I don't know why it opened two. And we're going to type IP address. So the IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.10. Also, no, no, that, that's it. That's the IP address. So we're going to go here and type it 192.168.1.10. The username is going to be Joby. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, how I came up with that name when I, when I was creating the virtual machine. And the password is going to be this one. So I'm going to click login. And it's going to ask me, continue connecting to an unknown server and add its host key to Akash. Yes, that's what I want. And as you can see, if, the, if you have access, if you have the permissions, if the username and password are correct, you will see this one, just like Windows. So this is Windows, this is Ubuntu, or a Linux machine, okay? So we have this. So I'm going to go to my documents and as you can see, it's empty. So let me check that. So ls, I see documents there. Uh, cd documents, ls, and there is nothing. So we are going to create something. So touch, um, I'm going to call it my IT, uh, my IT workshop.txt. Well, why am I doing doing it like this? Workshop.txt. So we are going to give some permissions to this file. Chmote775. My IT workshop. Yes. And we are going to add some text. So I'm going to use nano for this mighty workshop and we can see it there so i'm going to add this is for windows so i don't like how it looks and that's it so i save it with Control um, o enter and i'm going to exit with Control x so i'm going to see if it saved it cat my it workshop yes and the message is over there so as you can see here there is nothing i'm going to refresh it and i see now the file i just created and you can see the right i have given to it so i'm going to copy and um, uh, i'm not copy i'm going to just drag and drop i drag this file to here uh, to windows to this folder python and it's going to ask me do you want to really copy this one yes that's what i want and it's doing it so what we're going to do next is file explorer and we're going to go to my documents. So my documents, where are my documents? These are my documents. So Python, Python, Python. And I see Python over here. This is the folder, as you can see here, Alvin drill and Python. So this is the file, my IT workshop. If I open it, you can see this is for a window. So it worked. So from here, I'm going to create another. New document is going to go um, my IT workshop. This is going to be the same, but uh, this time I'm going to call it for Ubuntu. Now I'm going to open it, transfer file. So we just save it. And we're going to do the opposite, okay? So I'm going to close this, I don't need it anymore. I'm going to refresh it, even though I see it, I'm just going to refresh it like that. So I'm going to uh, select my, for Ubuntu, and I'm going to do the opposite. From Windows, I'm going to copy it to Linux, in this case, Ubuntu. Drag and drop, and just like that. Sometimes, guys, I have seen that where I work, uh, there are some folders, as you can see here, it says right, where you cannot copy it. You don't have the right to copy anything to that folder, okay? So I'm just t letting you know that. You might find that. So now I'm going to go to here, uh, to the Ubuntu machine. So the last time I issued the command ls, it just showed me, well, at the beginning, nothing. Then we created my IT workshop, that TXT, that we transferred to Windows. And now it's showing me this is, um, I mean, 
only one file, right? This time, when I execute, when I issue the command ls, it should show me two. So as you can see here, it's showing me two for Ubuntu TXT and my IT workshop. So if I see what this one has, the new one for Ubuntu, it says transfer file. So that's how you transfer files from Windows to Linux to Linux to Windows. By the way, if you are interested, you can watch these two videos if you like that. And that's for the video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.